Hey, good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to Adventures with Joey Boats. I've come down to the Norfolk Southern Line here in Lachlan, Ohio. Um, there's a medium approach signal here on uh, track one, railroad westbound or uh, geographically southbound is speaking. Um, so it'll be coming from that direction back here. And as we turn around, we uh, will see that medium approach signal. Um, but let's walk through about where we are uh, before we get that train. So this is the village of Lachlan. Uh, that's Mueller uh, Roofing Distributing Company. That's their corporate offices right there. And that's their warehouse. Uh, try not to park in these parking lots because they are private parking. But every once in a while I'll sneak back there um, to catch some trains. I'm not really bothering anybody. Uh, but generally, I try to park there. I'm, man, I'm kind of far away from the curb. I need to fix that. Um, but let's go down here a little bit. So we're going to take a walk down the street here. So over here is a pretty good place called Sugar Shack by the Tracks. It's an ice cream joint. Just opened up this year. Really good. Ran by a lovely lady named Erica and her husband. Uh, they're crushing it, I'm telling you. Uh, so this bridge is, you know, across the bridge there is Redding, Ohio, right? That's Redding, Ohio. And if you cross the bridge, you'll see a sign that says, where friends meet. Now, the legend about that is it's, it started off as a joke, right? If you guys can't see it, I'll zoom in on a little bit. Where friends meet, right? It started off as a joke. Um, legendary. There, there's where uh, I believe the mayors of both municipalities would meet are um, guys who meet out there to hash out their differences and fight. Uh, in the Navy, we used to call that smokers. So we'd hash out our differences by basically beating the snot out of each other. Um, so yeah, that's the legend. The, the sign, the sign started off as a joke, and now, of course, we don't, you know, we're a little bit more civilized, I guess, somewhat. Uh, they don't do that. So crossing right here is the Mill Creek. Uh, that's what's down underneath the bridge. But uh, something that I explained to my nephew last night about each major railroad, um, they pretty much mirror a major interstate. So if you look at CSX, you look at Norfolk Southern here, they're pretty much following I-75. Um, and I-71, you know, there's a railroad that runs along I-64. Run along I-80, I-90, I-40, I-25. So that's a really interesting fact. Um, I'm gonna fix my parking job here in a minute. That's God, that's atrocious. That's what I get for pulling a UE. Oh wait, you guys didn't hear that. So <laughs> But we got that medium approach signal. Um, that means that that line is open and ready for a train to head into uh, Guest Street Yard. So whenever he does, we'll get him. One thing I noticed about these railroad ties, they're kind of shabby looking. So it might be time to replace those. I don't know, but I'll tell you what, it's kind of cold out here today. It's about 40 degrees, um, breezy, so my hands are kind of cold. But Erica actually and her husband are inside Sugar Shack right now working. They came out here and said, hey, you want some ice cream? I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> Uh, so yeah we're just uh we're gonna fix that parking job we're gonna stand by for that train to come we're gonna be listening for it but i think i'm gonna get in the truck where it's warm all right we'll see ya hey everybody we still got a medium approach signal up there on track one uh running south i'm catching a sign of an inner train device on my scanner uh so definitely is something coming uh, don't know when it's going to be here. I'm waiting for the scanner to pick that up. Um, it is a little chilly out here, but it's bearable, right? So um, I thought I'd come down here and give it a little love today. Uh, give Norfolk Southern a little love today since I was at CSX all day the other day. Um, so 
but if I don't get much here, I may have to go over there. Uh, I, I really enjoyed filming over there today. Uh, it's nice to stay close to home. Sometimes you have to go a little farther, but um, you know, it's gonna be cloudy like this all day. Start time to start to take some uh, extra vitamin D, kind of supplement it, because going through those months where we're not gonna get a whole lot of sun. I haven't got a whole lot of uh, winter camping in the last couple years. Uh, yeah, so, well, while we wait for this thing to show up, um, we're planning some of our camping trips this year, um, and those will definitely be on this channel. Uh, the Grand Canyon is one of them. That's in the summer. Um, we got to look into booking that here soon. Uh, I believe also I'm going down to the Great Smoky Mountains with a buddy of mine in the spring. We're going to probably get up early, climb out Macon, see the sunrise, all sorts of cool shit. Um, yeah, it's not too bad out here once you... Once you gotta get the cold off your mind. It's like if talking to you guys, it's not on my mind. <laughs> I think it is. But it's really not that cold. It's only 40 degrees, but there's no sun and it's breezy. And you never know what you're gonna see on this channel. It's probably going over to Mueller over here. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit of live action, right? as Jawtooth says, a little live action. There's I-75 right there. Click, 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 click. He's in. He's moving. He might be getting closer. Who knows? Yeah, we got that forklift going on. Yeah, so that's that's about it for right now. Like I said, we do some activity on this thing. Um, I'm just waiting for that sucker to show up. But, uh, it it's a little bit of a tricky neighborhood around here. You know, it, I got some weird looks from a couple people. Uh, not the employees here at Mueller, but the uh, some young guy walking by. I've seen him before. Every time I come down here, every time I see him, he gives me this weird look. That might just be the way he is, right? That, that's just like, that could be it. That could be the way he is, but uh, sometimes when I come down and do these things, it can be a little questionable. Uh, the neighborhoods might be questionable, like Canal Ridge Road. Super questionable. Um, definitely wouldn't go there after dark. I don't, I've been down here after dark, obviously. I would film trains after dark. Um, it, it could be kind of well lit. Uh, I'm on the other side of the crossing. Once you go back over the crossing, it can be kind of dark. Uh, so, um, kind of make sure that you stay away from the dark areas. If you want a whale, whale fan or do anything like that, make sure you stay away from those non well lit areas and bad neighborhoods. Um, so, I could just see the messages run across the top of my screen as I'm recording and talking to you guys. And um, I just got out of this world message. I I'm not even gonna explain what it is because it's just I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. But oh my god! <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I'm just kind of hanging out, just uh, waiting for this train to show up. So like I said, stay away from those bad neighborhoods after dark. Stay away for like. Like, if you're going to go up to Hamilton, kind of like I did uh, a couple weeks ago, don't go up there after dark. Um, sometimes it's cool to be by yourself to do this because I can talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, sometimes it's nice to have somebody ride with you. Uh, but, you know, I won't always do that. So, But, like I said before in my introduction video that had like one view, <laughs> it's okay. All the YouTube grades got to start somewhere, right? Um, I, this is going to be more than just trains. Trains is, trains is the easiest thing to do because it's something I love to do and I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, but for me, it's like there's going to be some camping like Mount Lacan, the Great Smoky Mountains, the Grand Canyon, other simple trips down in eastern Kentucky that I take all the time. Um, maybe when I go somewhere with my cousin and go camping or whatever. 
Um, yeah, so it's gonna be stuff like that. Like kind of like, kind of like you know, I had the Serpent Mount included in because, well, it's stuff that I do, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, so, yeah, I mean that's it. That's people fly through this crossing, and it is kind of interesting to see. And uh, thought I saw someone over there seeing monkey demons. Uh, but yeah, they fly through this crossing. Now they smoothed it out. Um, a couple months ago because it was getting pretty rough so they so Norfolk Southern came they smoothed it out it looks really nice um, you can see them over there taking down all their Christmas decorations at Sugar Shack um, signs of the seasons right Christmas is over New Year's is coming um, so yeah that's it that's all I got for right now so this train shows up we still have that medium approach signal as soon as I hear her coming around, I'll get her before she comes around the bend down here, and uh, I'll hit. I'll get that. <clears throat> excuse me. I'll get that video rolling. All right. Till then, y'all. All right, folks. As promised. All right, he's uh he's not blowing any horn yet. He's probably moving kind of slow. Um, there he goes. Gates are going down. As you can hear behind me. Let's see if he pulls up and he stops. Sometimes they pull up and they stop here. So let's see what he does. No, oh, it don't look like it. It's not slowing down. Oh, looks like we got we got some BNSF action on here, folks. Some foreign power. Cards of potassium hydroxide. Some empty auto racks. I don't know if you guys saw the ducktails on there, Scrooge McDuck. Those auto racks got cars on them. That one does. You guys saw that helicopter coming, that's air care. A oh, whole four power lash up with the DPU, the uh, Elite BNSF, BNSF DPU. There they go. Wait for the gates to go back up. Traffic's not that bad on this one. It wasn't that long. So, if you counted the cards on that one, let me know. That one was a little short, so it wasn't that hard to do. All right. That was a good one, folks. Especially the uh, the uh, foreign power lead locomotive and the DPU, the BNF, both BNSF. That was really cool. Um, there were some heritage units that were going around. 
So uh, I got an app for that, see where they are. There was one spot down at Canal Ridge. I probably missed that. They're probably running on the CSX track uh, today. So uh, hey, eventually I'll get I'll get a good heritage unit going on. Um, here that train running north. So um, they do a lot of directional running here. On this Norfolk Southern track, they're gonna run southbound or railroad west. Uh, and on CSX, they're gonna run northbound or railroad east a lot. Uh, there are some exceptions to like locals, uh, local trains or stuff like that are, are priorities. Um, but mainly Norfolk Southern's running up to Dayton or they're, uh, the Newcastle district, they're running to Indy and to Chicago. Uh, CSX can go to Chicago as well. Um, any of these trains can go wherever they need to go, really. Uh, but uh, there's an ethanol train that, that starts down in Florida and it works all the way up to Georgia, uh, Tennessee, uh, works in Kentucky, it works here in Cincinnati, and then ultimately ends up in Cleveland. Um, I learned that watching uh, a channel of a gentleman down in Florida that's a rail fan. Um, and he knows a whole lot more than I do. But also, he's, he's, he's older than I am, so he has more experience. Um, Alright guys, that was a good one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll wait for the next one. Until then. Okay, so after uh, getting that one train on Norfolk Southern down in Lachlan, it was kind of dead. I was picking up nothing but clicks and uh, on my uh, receiver, not really getting anything. I changed the CSX frequency, I'm getting a little more. Uh, they just called out north something, I'm not sure where that's going to be, but I have came over here to the defect detector. So uh, this, is the, this is the mile post 13.5 defect detector that you guys are always hearing about. Um, on my scanners um, so before a train gets here let's go over the defect detector I don't want to get too close because it'll look like I'm up to no good um, but those paddles there are designed to flip down and uh, if anything is dragging from the train or hits it um, there's also heat sensors on the side of the track that'll sense the wheels and the bearing and the hots and it'll tell a train crew um, so once a train goes by we'll hear that we'll hear that sucker go um, we're coming around to bend here, and like I said, they do a lot of directional running. There's actually a bend north and south. There's one over there, and there's one over there. So hopefully we'll get them both, and uh, we'll find out. So when a train comes, we'll get to rolling. All right, as we're waiting on a train to come, this is the box for the defect detector. All the computer systems are inside there. It says... Uh, Woodline HPD BE 13.50. The 13.50 is 13 and a half miles from Cincinnati. Um, and of course, the antenna, uh, I will pick that up as the train goes by. So let's get a closer look at this while we can. Um, so, all the equipment, the paddles there that are designed to be hit. Uh, if something's dragging, they got stuff out here. They got heat sensors. Those are either infrared or lasers. Um, here's the control box for all the electronics. Um, they pretty much got the same thing over there on track one. Um, yeah, so it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to get too close. Uh, we might cross the tracks here if we can, uh, but I kind of like where I am. My um, my uh, um, tripod isn't that level, so it's kind of hard to get. But as you see, there's lots of tie plates and stuff around here. They're doing work. A lot of this rail is brand new, uh, so if we can get up to the side of the rail. That's a 136 pound rail uh, rolled by ERMS Steel. Uh, and uh, last year, 2022, one, two, three, four, let's see, three, yeah, June. So rolled in June of 2022. I'm not hearing much on the scanner, so hopefully we can get one more. Uh, but it might be a short day, folks. So, I don't know. Stay tuned. All right, folks. It's been, um, let's see here. Look at the time. Been over an hour. So, I've moved positions, obviously. I told you that. Uh, there is one that is headed this way. And I think there was one in Hamilton that was coming over from Newcastle. That might have been the Connorsville local. Uh, so... 
Look at that. But I turned my hat around because it is sleeting. Every, like, every five minutes, it sleets on and off, um, which is crazy. I just want the damn sun to come out because I love the sun. I am whatever the sun worshiper people. I don't know. I'm not a freak or nothing, but I love the sun. <coughs> All right. So once that train gets here, uh, we'll get the video rolling. All right, forks, folks, <laughs> forks. Before that sucker gets here, because I do hear him, let's look at the crossing here. This is Marion Avenue in Wyoming. As you can see, old school bell up at that crossing. Um, so we'll actually hear that go off as the train approaches. I'm really excited about that because those are so damn cool. Um, hopefully I can get that. Right now I do have this on about four times zoom. I don't know if you guys can hear that train coming, but I just wanted to show you that bell before that sucker gets up here. All right, folks, uh, those last couple trains I heard, I guess we're on Norfolk Southern. Uh, there's one on the scanner that's just called Clear Wyoming. So he's headed up this way. I step back a little bit. Um, and after this guy passes, I don't know if there's anything coming south. Uh, but this might be it for me today after this guy passes because it is <laughs> it is quarter after three. So I've been sitting here for a half hour. Um, you know, name of the game is patience, though. So he's coming. All right, he's gonna come around that bone that bend uh, momentarily here, folks. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll that video. Uh, like I said, that crossing with that cool, unique bell, that old school bell is gonna go off. Um, we'll get a horn. We'll get some horns uh, because we are not into Glendale yet, where there's a no horn zone. And eventually, I will film up in Glendale. Um, I actually might have one Sunday, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Uh, lots of rail fans go up to Glendale on Sunday. I kind of wanna go up there and learn some from those guys that have been doing it for a while um <coughs> so <coughs> excuse me i am uh just getting i had a cold a couple weeks ago and i still i think i have some allergies going on just because it's like my ass is ohio this time of year it's kind of a thing uh to have allergies in ohio this time of year if you don't you're a mutant or like a superhero or something. Um, but I can hear that guy roaring up the track. I'm not sure what track he's on. He could have diverged Wyoming, but I see his lights. So he's coming around the bend. All right. Let's see what he's carrying. It looks like auto racks. He is on the track closest to us, so uh, we're not gonna get too close. We definitely don't wanna do that. Little breeze coming out of that guy. It's a little 
graffiti. <laughs> here today. coming off this cold. train device that you hear Alright, 658 axles on that one. It was a long train. There's a breeze coming off that sucker. It was kind of cold. Uh, so, I'm cold. Um, I'm going to get back in my truck where it's warm. I don't hear anything else coming north. Excuse me. This is a scanner, but I believe that's it. Um, so, before we get back in our truck, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, for today, um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to have any more because that was cold. My toes are a little cold and I kind of want to go home and get a snack. Um, you know, so, uh, hey, thanks for tuning in. That was a good train. I hope you guys like that bell. I hope you like the view of that train coming around the bend. Breeze coming off that sucker was cold and he was uh, moving at speed limit for this area, which is about 35 miles an hour. All right, guys. Cool. See ya. All right, everybody, two trains is better than no trains, but that is it for me today. I'm cold, um, <coughs> and I know I made a long video the other day, so I don't want this one to be too long. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, watch my other videos if you get a chance. I really appreciate it. Let's grow this channel as it is. That's really cool. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you guys later. I'm cutting you loose. Have a great day.